Hi there. Let me give you the TLDR for this video. Exactly a half an hour from now, there's a brand new Manny short, so stay tuned for that. Also, I've been streaming every day right from here, from the beach. So expect more content on this channel, including this. We gave our cat Data a bath and it was a good time, huh? And in case you're curious about the blue hair, this was for the Extra Life stream. It was a uh, donation goal that if we made it, I would dye my hair and we made it to 2000 this year. So blue hair. Anyway, sorry for not uploading as much as I would have liked. I'm going to explain why that's been on the rest of this video. So if you don't have time, watch it later. And if you do, here we go. So um, the rest of this video is going to be a little bit more uh, serious. I'm not going to be adding background music. I'm not going to do anything uh, too silly because I'm not trying to persuade you or your feelings in any way. I, I, I'm not trying to paint a picture. I just want to give you an explanation um, as to where I've been and why I haven't uploaded in a little bit. Uh, I tried a separate recording, but I didn't put uh, my thoughts down on paper, and it ended up being uh, this rambling mess that I'm hoping to correct with this take. As you watch this, I, I need you to know that, that I'm doing good. As of right now, I am okay. Things are getting, uh, things are getting a lot better, and what I'm dealing with isn't foreign or, or strange, it's, it's, a lot of people deal with this, I get that, a lot of people do, but I, I need to share it because I'm about to upload a short and I need to, I need to, I, I feel like you deserve an explanation as to why I haven't been uploading as much as I would like. So, a while back, and I'm talking pre-YouTube, pre-streams, pre-everything, uh, when I lived in Virginia, uh, with bees, I suddenly began, I got this thing where I began to feel, uh, this crippling nausea every time I got, uh, anxious. It's, it's the kind of nausea that, that has you just on the floor and afraid to move, um, and, uh, it, it, it came bundled with this terrible, terrible anxiety that left me unable to do a lot of things. Um, it's a change that happened quite literally overnight. You can ask anybody that, that I dealt with at the time. Just overnight, I was fine one day, boom, the next day I'm fucked up. And as you can imagine, it got in the way of, it got in the way of a lot of shit. Uh, at first, I, I thought it was a physiological issue. At first, I thought that there was something wrong with, you know, uh, my stomach and, and this nausea just wouldn't go away. But um, after it just didn't go away after after a long time and I had an upper endoscopy done and it found nothing wrong uh, after nearly getting fired from the job that I had at the time and, uh, you know, being unable to do stupid things like go to the supermarket or things like that. I was like, all right, it's clearly not in my stomach, uh, and I went to a psychiatrist, and I, I faced the, uh, the reality that this had to do with my brain. Uh, the anxiety didn't get better, it got worse. Every day, it just started compounding on itself, and uh, it, it threw me into this bad depression. Um, and oddly enough, all of this, uh, this, this terrible... Uh, sort of depression, again, because I couldn't do normal things, I couldn't, uh, I, I stopped being able to do everyday normal things. Um, it, uh, all of this happened right as the videos on YouTube were starting to get popular. It ended up putting me and my relationships in a lot of trouble. It had gone unchecked all this time. When it got to just this really bad point, I finally went to the doctor, uh, and uh, starting to get started to get some medicine for it. It got to the point where I could finally start to do you know normal everyday things, go to the supermarket, go outside, so on and so forth. But then you fast forward to our move to Oregon, uh, where I am now, and uh, just before leaving for Oregon, I ran out of my medicine, and I was like, you know what? I I feel fine. I think I'm good. I wasn't fucking good, dude. Don't, don't ever think that. Um, I, I, I found that out the hard way. I was not okay. So I came to Oregon. The nausea came back. Uh, everything started to get, to get real bad again. And uh, I went to the doctor and I got new pills. 
So this, again, this is very recent. I'm talking like maybe a month back, brand new pills. Uh, and this is where the issue really like started to begin. Uh, these new pills sort of make me feel things twice as strongly as I did before. So when I get happy, I get really happy. Uh, when I get angry, I get really angry, you know, so on and so forth. And I, I, the issue with the videos is that I started to look at them um, as I was editing. And when I, when I was unhappy with something, uh, I didn't have the normal feeling of, nah, it's whatever, I'm sure it's okay. I would just go, wow, this is trash. Why, why do I do that? Why, why? And I would just stop what I was doing. And this happened, you know, I, I would watch my old videos and, and kind of, uh, I, I, I don't typically watch my own videos because every time that I do, I'm like, oh man, I could have done this better. I should have done this instead of that. Why did I do this? I can't take it. Can I, can I take it down and redo it and still get the, like, you know, like, all this shit just happens, and uh, looking at the new ones, I was like, wow, this fucking sucks, uh, so on and so forth. But it's, again, because of, uh, because of this thing that I've been dealing with. Um, for a while, it was true that the WoW model viewer was broken, and I could have made shorts with less editing and without the, you know, the pop-ups that I like to do and so on and so forth, but I, I didn't want to shortchange you guys by making something that I felt was uh, lesser than what I could have done uh, and putting that out. But at, when, the, when the model viewer came back, um, I had used it as a scapegoat. And at that point, I was very disillusioned with my editing and with uh, making, uh, making content in general. So uh, I stopped. And now... Uh, now that I've been on this medication for a while, it's finally starting to get better. I'm getting to a point where uh, I feel eager, I feel happier, uh, and everything is everything is uh, starting to normalize. I still, now and again, I still, I'm full of energy and I feel wacky, which I'm sure has shown on the streams, but um, it's starting to normalize. Uh, though this leads me to another point and that is uh, distance. Uh, I, I've been having a lot of these. The mood swings. Anyway, I've been I've been quick to laugh. Uh, I've been quick to anger, uh, and I've been quick to bitch. So I felt the need to keep a certain distance uh, from the things that I love because I don't want this to to interfere and, and to. You know, I, I'm sure that those that hang around me have been able to see it. it. It's just, it hasn't just been a YouTube thing. I've been distant in House Vestral. I've been distant in my own Patreon Discord. I've been distant uh, with my own personal friends and, and so on and so forth. Because, you know, Frank, I don't, I don't want to do something stupid or say something that I'm going to regret just because I'm having one of these, uh, you know, one of these really strong feelings. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not other people's fault that I'm taking these pills and feeling this way. And so instead of taking the chance to take it out on somebody else that doesn't deserve it, I figured I would just step back, uh, kind of get my shit together before re-engaging, uh, in, in the things that I love. My mistake in this entire thing has been silence. I, I've, I've told everything that I'm telling you right now to the folks that have asked. Uh, there are some folks that, that have uh, shown concern and I, and, I, and I shared all of this with them, um, but it felt wrong to me to do something like, you know, make a post that says, all right, everybody, I'm feeling sad, so I'm not making shorts. Uh, I, I, I just, I found, no effective way to communicate this uh, until today. So this this is what I've had going on on my end. Uh, before I say anything else, I want to thank you for watching this. I want to thank my awesome patrons for their understanding and their continued support because I'm being a thousand percent honest here. Without them, I would not be able to be here in front of you right now. Um, so thank you very, very much 
for that. And uh, to those that have stuck around with the channel, even though I haven't uploaded for a little bit. Um, speaking of, on this channel, you're going to see a lot more content from my streams. I've been streaming every single weekday, uh, barring that nothing weird happens. But I'm ditching my grandiose World of Warcraft only content idea that I had from the beginning. The fact of the matter is, I have a lot of clips that are funny from streaming. I have a lot of uh, content that is good and that I'm going to start uploading here because I, I'm, I'm ditching the, the, uh, that perfectionist sort of idea. I'm just doing it. That is the long and short of it. Again, I sincerely thank you for being here, for sticking around and for supporting and enjoying the content. I've been streaming every day, so if you want to help that dream come true, Go to twitch.tv forward slash Manny Berry. Just toss me a follow. Say hello. And, you know, just come hang out. It's a nice place to be. And now I, I, I'm going to give you the YouTuber bullshit spiel, which is done for a reason, right? This is not just done because this is what YouTubers do. This is done because it helps uh, the channels grow. So if you see content that you enjoy, leave it a like. Um, toss me a comment. Share the content with somebody to, to make their day uh, better or what have you. It really does help. Thank you again for watching this. Thank you again to my amazing patrons for supporting me and the content and, and just keeping that community alive. And I hope you enjoy the next short. There's more stuff coming. So thanks very much. I'll see you later.